I've, I've been coaching at Greenville High School for 40 years. Uh, 24 years I was a tennis coach, and then this, this last little bit I've been, been the golf coach. Well, the, you know, tennis was really a fun job, but it was hard. There's concrete every day, and uh, when I got offered the, the golf job, that, that's really a, that's the job everybody liked to have. And, uh, and I, I loved it. Uh, my best friend was a golf coach, and it was good that I took over. For, for, for this, this age group, the mental part of the game is, is the last that they get a grip on. Uh, but I've had, had these guys that, that played this year, they've developed real well, and they've begun to grasp that, the knowledge of the game. And that's, that's the real challenge. They, they've all got a good swing, but to get that knowledge on how to react to bad shots, and it has to be an even keel, and they're, they're developing that, and, and that's what really helped us this year. Well, you know, it's really hard to pick. There's, there's five good players, and uh, they're three seniors, a junior and a sophomore. Uh, the junior actually was our lead dog at the, at the district tournament. He shot back-to-back -back 84s. Uh, my, my one senior, he, he had a tough first day, and then he played baseball that night and sprained his ankle. So the second day, he didn't, he watched. But uh, it's kind of hard to pick. You know, they, they've all got things that they can do that, uh, that are different from the others. And to put the whole game together, uh, and Harper Waddle did that. He, he shot 84-84, which was pretty good scores. Well, Highland Park, perennial state champions. Uh, last year, they were first and third in state, and uh, they, they beat us this year. But for the second year in a row, we were third place, and without Highland Park, we'd have been district, district champs. The main, the main thing that we, we're really shooting for is for them to be young men and young ladies, and to respect others, and to take care of themselves. And in golf, you, you have to, you're out there by yourself. And uh, for them to develop an attitude of, of friendship and com competition. And uh, you know, then you can't ask for much more than that if they're working hard every day, uh, nobody loses. I like going out and having fun. I mean, it's a pretty serious sport when it comes down to it, but I like just playing for fun. Well, for me, it's all pretty hard, like when it comes to tournaments and actually like trying to do good, but the hardest part would probably be short game, chipping and putting. Well, I've, I've been playing for Greenville since I was a freshman, so all four years. Well, Coach Johnson is a great coach, but not only that, but he's an, also, he, he's an even better person. And all the stories he tells me, and he's just, I love him, he's great. I mean, I've been playing with like my family and stuff since I was younger, but until like freshman year, I never really like played or actually like took it kind of serious. Um, but you can just have fun no matter if you're doing bad or good, and it's just enjoyable. Um, putting mostly, but it's all difficult for me. Um, he's very encouraging, and even if you're doing bad, he just tells you that it's okay and that every hole's new and you can just move on from the last one. We all just do it for fun and don't take it too seriously, and we never like getting our heads about it. And Okay, well, I got my first set of clubs when I was about six. It was just a little Walmart set. And then it uh, really started, come, started to kind of get serious when I was about 12 or 13. Putting, most definitely. My short game, putting and chipping, most definitely.
just, he always tells me, just slow down, take a deep breath. Every shot is a new shot. Just stay within yourself and you'll be fine. I've been playing since I was about five. And what I like about it is no matter how good you are, you can always be better. There's, you can't be perfect. Yeah, it's just anxiety. I'll try to, I'll just think about it too much and I'll hit a bad shot and then it gets in my head and I'll get mad or just lose my temper. I just think that, you know, the next shot, you can't, there's no, nothing you can do about it, so you just move on to the next shot and try to recover. Probably just getting better mentally and being able to focus better. This video has been brought to you by Juice34. Juice is your community-owned provider for electric, internet, cable TV, and true local programming.